Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, and this is my review for Madam Web. So, dear viewer, if you wouldn't mind, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Now, I don't usually do movie reviews on the channel, dear viewers, but I felt that it was important this time because I actually have something to say about this particular movie. And who knows, maybe I'll review more movies in the future. If you want me to, of course. Also, if you don't want me to, of course, because I'm going to review whatever the hell I want on the channel. So, Madam Web is the latest comic book movie that released, ooh, about a week ago I think it released, and it has unanimously been getting absolutely terrible reviews. So much so that people have even taken the time and the effort to record videos criticizing Christopher Stuckman, also known as Chris Stuckman, for refusing to review the movie. Even though he said long ago that the whole focus of his channel was changing and he didn't want to point out flaws with movies, but instead just a celebrate, 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 what the hell is that? Celebrate movie making in general. And I agree with Mr. Stuckman. So, here is my completely unbiased review for Madam Web. Are you ready? I really liked it. Does that shock you? Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Maybe you thought, oh, of course he's going to like it, he likes all that crap. Well, for a start, it's not crap. Not in my opinion anyway. I should have prefaced this review by saying this is completely my opinion. You don't have to agree with it, and frankly, I could care less whether you agree with me or not. I don't make reviews to make you like a movie, or dislike a movie, or like a video game, or dislike a video game. I make reviews just to tell you my opinion. My opinion is, Madam Web is absolutely solid. For a start, bags of fun. Love the villain. He couldn't act much. But really, are you going to a comic book movie for the acting? I don't think so. An evil Spider-Man, what's not to enjoy there? Action? Well, okay, this isn't the most action-packed movie out there, but to be honest, a movie called Madam Web, if you recall, Madam Web is a character that's practically blind and spends the majority of her time in a wheelchair-looking thing, uh, I didn't really think this movie was going to be fucking Die Hard 6, somehow. I mean, I don't know what character people were really thinking of when they walked into this movie, but as far as I recall, Madam Webb was an elderly woman who wore a pair of sunglasses and sat in a wheelchair, so... Action isn't really her forte. Fortune-telling is... Telling the future. You know, that kind of bag. I also found the movie to be pretty funny. I laughed out loud quite a few times. I also found the movie to be quite moving, quite sweet. I actually, and I'm not ashamed to admit this, I actually welled up a couple of times. And I'm here to defend the movie. So yes, the majority of people might think this movie is complete and utter garbage, and that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. But having watched the movie myself, and in fact I'm just finished watching the movie when I've recorded this review, I actually really enjoyed it. And for context, I really enjoyed the original uh, Suicide Squad movie. I thought that was splendid. I actually like that movie more than I like James Gunn's Suicide Squad, so you can think of that what you will. You can say I have no taste in movies or no taste in video games, but like I said at the start of this video, I could care less what you think. This is my channel, I'm going to tell you what I think. And what I think is, Madam Web is a solid comic book movie. And just to infuriate some of you overweight fanboys even more, I like this movie more than I liked The Flash overall. I like this movie more than I liked The Marvels. I like this movie more than I liked 
Ant-Man Quantumania. I like this movie more than I liked Thor Love and Thunder. I like this movie more. I think you get my point. The point is, I enjoyed this movie. And I think you should go and check out this movie. And not listen to these reviewers. Especially the ones that are taking the time and the effort to make a video about how another YouTuber is choosing not to bash the movie. Instead of just, I don't know, making their own reviews. Where they can give their own opinions. So, if I had to give this movie a score, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. That's how much I liked it. I don't care what you think. Like I said, this video is made for me, not for you. It's made for you to watch and engage with, and you can comment down below, and you can call me all the names under the sun, but, uh, I don't care. 8 out of 10. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my review from Madam Web. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, which I imagine a substantial amount of you might not have enjoyed it, uh, you can give me a thumbs down. But please remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming and movies. Because this is a movie review, so I guess I have to say you have to stay obsessed with movies now. Damn it. Are you still here? Oh, you must have really enjoyed this video then. In that case, you had better subscribe to the channel and check out our other content. Otherwise, you're a booby pants. And no one wants to be a booby pants.